Hey, we'll talk Starfreak Cell 2010. Open it up. Okay. As you can see, we have a blank book. We're going to start entering in some column titles, so that way we can start entering in some information. We'll start with name. Vehicle, PC type, and random number. Okay. As you can see, each of the columns are a set size. This may not be, you know, big enough for you. So, if you want all of them to be the, to stay the same exact size, you select the columns that you want. Come here until your arrow changes over to the double arrow and you just move it over as you can see each of them you know change size if you want you can select just one column and you can adjust its size independently or as I showed you you can do all of them at once okay so let's see here we got Billy Tom Sally and Alan and and Dan. Okay. He drives a truck. He drives a car. Sally. She drives a motorcycle. Alan is a car, and Dan has. Okay, PC types. We have a Dell, an Alienware, HP, um, IBM, and another HP because they're everywhere. Okay, random numbers three, six, seven, two, and nine. Okay. So now we got some basic information laid out. Now you decide that, you know, you don't quite like the way everything looks. To make this look a little bit differently, you can come up, you can change, you know, the way it looks. So we got bold for that. And let's say for the vehicles, we want to italicize. put a border around them to help separate them okay I'm going to just do all borders but as you can see there's a very big selection <coughs> and then on this one we'll come down here and we'll have a border only on the bottom okay now you know it's starting to look pretty good but for this one we're going to for the information, we're going to center them just to make them look a little bit nicer. Okay. And now you can change the colors. You make that blue and we'll make these red. Uh, sorry. You had to make sure you actually click on them. There we go. Alright. Now you can see that the information is kind of all mixed up. Okay, so let's, you know, organize this a little bit. Select the information that you want to organize. Then you right click on it. Come down to sort. Let's do A through Z. Expand the selection. We say yes because we want all the information to reorganize itself. Okay, so now we got an alphabetical order. You can also say, you know what, I want, I need, a, today I need it sorted by, you know, their number. So you come over here to sort, smallest to largest. Yes, because we want everything to sort with it. 
Okay, and then we're like, okay, um, now I need to know uh, what my total numbers are. It's a pretty easy code. Equal, sum, close it off, and you can either type each of the cells or you can just hit control and select each of the ones that you want to incorporate into your number. Be sure to remember to close it up and then you can hit enter and now you have the total of for your information. Um, finally, we'll show you a couple of finishing things. You can come to file and click on save or you can come up here to the little disk shape which is also uh, a shortcut for save. So we save it. Save it as, um, we'll call it demo. Click save. Some other things that you can do. You come to file, you can print. You can do save and send, which will allow you to send it in an email. Uh, you can send it as a PDF. So it's pretty, it has you know, a lot of uses. Uh, I hope you found this basic information useful. Um, if you did, please uh, g give this video a like. Uh, subscribe to my channel. You can also like me on Facebook. Uh, this video has been brought to you by Lupine Solutions.